Alright, so welcome to uh, part two of the By the Sword tutorial lesson. Uh, so, we left off on the clean channel right here. Alright, so we left off right there. And now we're going to switch over to the overdrive channel. So, here's when it gets like badass, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, so you're going to switch over to the overdrive channel, and then you're going to play the. You're going to bend up the 20th fret of the B string, and you're going to play the, the 17th fret of the, of the E string unbent. So, to clarify that a little more, uh, you're going to bend up the 20th fret of the B string, and while that bends in the air, you're going to play the 17th fret of the high E string at the same time. So like this. And then you're going to bend up the 20th fret of the B string again, but this time you're not going to play the high E string with it. So like this. And then you're gonna bring that bend down, and then you're gonna play the 20th fret of the B string unbent. So it's just like this. And then you're gonna play the 17th fret of the B string. And then now you're going to bend up the 19th fret of the G string. And then you're going to bring that bend down and you're going to pull up to the 17th fret. So it's just like this. And then you're going to play the, the 19th fret of the D string. And then you're going to do a hammer on from the 17th fret of the G string to the 19th fret of the G string. And then you're going to play the 19th fret of the D string. And then you're going to play the 17th fret of the G string. So it's just like this all together. Then you're gonna do pull off from the 19th fret of the G string to the 17th fret of the G string. And then you're gonna bend up the 19th fret of the, the G string. And then you're gonna do a pull off from the 19th fret of the G string to the 17th fret of the, the, the G string? Yeah. Then you're going to play the 19th fret of the D string. Then are you gonna bend up the you're gonna bend up the nineteenth fret of the G string two times in a row. And then you're gonna keep it in the air. You're gonna keep that bend in the air. And then you're gonna pick it like five times or something like that. So you pick it like five or six times while it's in the air, then you bring it back down. Uh, so it, it's just not like this all together.
Yeah, then are you going to play the 19th fret of the G string? And then you're going to play the 16th fret of the G string? So it's just like this. And then you're going to do a hammer-on pull-off from the 16th fret of the G string to the 17th fret of the G string back to the 16th fret of the G string. So it's just like this. Then you're going to do a pull off from the 17th fret of the G string to the 16th fret of the, of the G string. So it's just like this. Then you play the 19th fret of the D string. And then you're going to play the 19th fret of the A string. So all the other just sound like this so far. Something like that. Uh, so then you're gonna do. Then are you gonna play the? You're gonna do a hammer on from the 17th fret of the G of the D string to the 19th fret of the D string. So it's just like this. Then you're gonna do a little bend on the uh, the sixteenth fret of the G string, and you're gonna bring it back down. So it's just not this. Then you're gonna do a pull off from the 19th fret of the D string to the 17th fret of the D string. So it's like this. And then you're gonna bend up the 19th fret of the G string. So all together, it's like this. Then you can do a hammer on pull off from the 17th fret of the G of the G string to the 19th fret of the G string back to the 17th fret of the G string. So it's just not like this. So all together, it's just not like this. And then you're gonna bend up the. 20th fret of the B string. And then you're going to play the 17th fret of the high E string. Then you're going to play the 19th fret of the high E string. And then you're going to bend up the 19th fret of the high E string. So it's just like this.
Yeah, then no, you're gonna bend up the 19th fret of the high E string again. So like that. Alright, tune in to part 3 for the rest. So, uh, check it out. Rate, subscribe, comment. And check out part 3, learn the rest of the solo.